Oh, gee willikers, it has been a long day at work today, and I can't wait to relax by playing my favourite faction in Dawn of War Unification 7.0. I'm going to really enjoy myself, and the game will definitely not crash. Good heavens, the game has crashed. I wonder what the problem could be. Oh yes, unable to create error port. Please verify there is enough space in your temp folder. What an unusual problem that I've never seen before. I know what I could do to solve this problem. I am going to go over to my mod manager. And I am going to fiddle around with some settings. I will first turn the LAA on. I am then going to go into my settings. And then go to my video. I will then put the graphics on to lure. And then I will also put the full 3D camera on to make sure that my camera is not too zoomed in at all times. I will then save, close, and restart the game. Well, would you look at that? The mission has started. The game is a fuss. Fantastic stuff. So oh no, now everything looks a bit like arse. All the textures are a bit low, and it looks a little bit weedy. I know what I can do to solve this problem. To avoid my game having as many pixels as a Japanese adult film, I'm going to go back to my video. I'm then going to put things on medium, and then play around with the settings, trying to maximise the graphical detail while allowing the game to still run. But oh no, some of my friends want to play, and they want to play a 3 vs 3 or a 4 vs 4, and the game still won't run very well, even if I have them on low graphics. Well, I wonder if I open up my Dawn of War online, and then, look at this, and my goodness my gracious, there is an LAA on here as well, and I can also have no pre cache models on, which sometimes fixes that issue too. Also, if my camera is acting a bit dodgy, I could go to the patches for Dawn of War Online, and it will work here by clicking on this setting. Well, hell's bells and a thousand smells, I have been able to make the game work on medium graphics. So now things don't look as terrible. So I'm now able to play with all my friends with a relatively high graphical quality. I have also downloaded a shader, or should I say a reshader, which allows me to affect the graphics of the game without adding any toll onto the CPU. Fantastic stuff. So I hope that this guide helps you, and my name has been Mr. Landshark. And I have not been abducted by Sineshi cultists. Thank you, good night, and please subscribe.